Whoa, that was a heavy intro. <laughs> Guys, the reason I'm able to run two companies is I'm not married yet, so. <laughs> but uh, hope everybody is doing great. Nancy, amazing story, really, really inspiring. And you know what, guys? Today, when I was um, offered to come and speak, you know, I, 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 I took this as a good opportunity to share a personal challenge that I've had for 2018. We were actually, Jason and I were talking about this right before I got in here, that like, you know, one thing that I've learned, and I've been an entrepreneur in tech for over uh, 10 years now, um, and basically the idea was to, you know what, like in 2018, I wanna give back and inspire as many people as possible to take action, to basically start something or be part of something that is starting up. So today, what I want you to do is take away one thing from when I'm uh, done speaking, and that is a mission. So I think, you know what, as exactly what Alex said, like, you know, I'm a serial entrepreneur. And when you're a serial entrepreneur, the idea is you decide on the purpose of your life, like what your mission is. And based on that mission, that whatever value you're able to create or you're able to bring in, you work towards that. And so I wanna share a little bit about my mission and I'm hoping that would inspire you to find yours. And so in a single line, like, you know, my mission is empowering others, right? Uh, you would see a, a small Instagram icon over there, my handle. Uh, the reason I placed it there is because for in past one month I've started to share motivational videos. I just do like a quick blob of like, you know, topics that I feel like sharing with people that would bring value to them on a daily basis. So feel free to check it out and would love your feedback on that. Anyway guys, so before I begin talking a little bit about my mission, just a very quick background. So most of you here in the room know about AstroTask, uh, but from, from my personal uh, perspective, like a quick background is that like I co-founded my first company actually at the age of 18 uh, with my brother, he's right here in the audience as well, uh, my partner, and we sold it at the age of when I was 20 and he was still 17, that is three years younger than me. Then we started AstroTask, uh, you've seen it grow. Uh, thanks to all of you guys for believing in us. I see a lot of team members here. Thank you so much for being here. Now, the third project that we're working on right now, it's Airzai. Now guys, it's a hardware project. It's in a stealth mode right now, so can share a lot of stuff. But we recently launched this a year ago, just closed down on a five million uh, uh, seed funding. And if you guys wanna know more about it, happy to share it. I might just ask you to sign an NDA. Just kidding. <laughs> so, and more than that, guys, like, you know, extending onto my vision, I tend to invest in startups that align with my mission. And so, like, so far, recently started a couple of years ago, I've invested in over 10 plus startups. So the reason I shared this info is because I want you guys to understand that when I started, I started as an entrepreneur, as somebody who just was hanging on to one vision, and that was empowering others. And I think the more people I talk with, they speak with, the more I get this feedback that they can resonate with this vision. And I love the fact that people are able to share this. And so what I personally think is when you decide on empowering others, so for example, you take Astro Task, like you know, you're empowering, try to empower people to be flexible, to go out, do jobs, and like, you know, make their own schedule, they get to be micro entrepreneurs themselves, right? And at the same time, it empowers us to sort of like, you know, build that ecosystem that would support more people. And so what I wanna discuss with you now is basically how do you empower yourself before starting to empower others, right? With a show of hands, I wanna know how many entrepreneurs are here in the room right now who are working on a business? Mm, that's nice. And how many of you are aspiring entrepreneurs that you wanna start something in future? Jason is both. <laughs> nice. So, guys, here's the thing. When you decide to empower yourself, you put in yourself in a position where you're able to support others in your community, where you're able to extend that help, extend that support, or like, you know, sort of offer the resources that could be useful to others. So, the first thing that I suggest everybody to do is launch a business, right? And it doesn't have to be a big multinational company, it doesn't have to be something huge. Uh, start from scratch, start from like small thing, right? Like, and you know, on the side, could be a side hustle too, you have a nine to five, you're working with a startup, that is great. Have a side hustle, like, you know, build something. And that would inspire you to invest more time and create more value for people around you. 
The second thing is mission-based idea. So that's exactly what we're talking about right now, right? You wanna make sure that you have a specific mission because if you're starting a business to make money, guys, forget it. Like you're gonna lose before you even begin, right? So you wanna have a mission that you can sort of support yourself, that you can actually uh, build on towards and you can spend a decade building, right? Again, the third one is my favorite and that is you have to give as much as you can, right? So the basic formula or the equation is you give, you give, and then you give some more, and then maybe you'll get something in return. Don't expect somebody to just reciprocate whatever offer you, like, you know, or help you offered, right? The more you create around you, uh, that's just creating positive karma, basically, right? And in the end, persistence is the key. I think uh, Nancy put it the best way, right? Like, you know, going through that struggles, building a company, and going through that, uh, that, that hardship, that is what defines you, right? That defines your mission, that defines your idea. So you wanna make sure you're as persistent as you can be and you don't give up till the very last minute, right? Like till the time you have to pivot, you go ahead and do that. It's only gonna be a failure if you give up. Now, very quickly, empowering others. So you have put in yourself the position that you've built something, you're able to extend that hand. How do you empower others? The first thing is guys, when you're building up the company, uh, don't look at building a team, build a family. You wanna just make sure you're building it up and you're supporting people around you that joining your team and treating them like a family member. And I'm proud to say that like, you know, in our companies we make sure that everybody's a family member and we celebrate together, we cry together, we laugh together, we, we, we try to have that aspect in our, in, in our daily lives, right? Second is seeking feedback. It's very important. You wanna empower others to offer you constructive feedback, right? Doesn't matter what position in the company you are. You wanna make sure that people are giving you positive, negative, whatever kind of feedback that would help you grow more. The last is volunteering and engaging in community causes. That goes without saying, guys. Like, you know, always make sure you expand, uh, like, you know, you're, you're, you put up some time on the side to involve, get yourself involved and contribute in the community. All right, guys. So. Wrapping it up, uh, Tracy right here, our head of people's operations, she's gonna love me for this plug. Rex, we're hiring, right? You know, so many awesome companies out here are doing the same. Uh, if you like what you see, come see us, uh, hit us up over here uh, in the email address. Uh, at, <laughs> at the end of the day, guys, you know what? F make sure before you start anything, you log down a mission. What is your purpose? And if you do that, you will see great things happening and you will bring value. Thank you. Two questions from two different yeah. people. <laughs> yes. Hey, so my question is, uh, you said you can start a side hustle, like let's say you have a nine to five, but when do you know if it's time to take that, like let's say side hustle to something to pursue full time? Uh, that's a great question. Actually, that is something that I personally did as well. And you know, I had a, for a brief period of time, I had a nine to five. I was part of Target Canada when they were launching. And so basically what happens is that when you decide, hey, you know what? I have few hours to spare on the side, four to five hours that I can invest towards something. Don't watch that Netflix show, right? Don't waste your time, like, you know, Instagramming or like, you know, like l on social media or what have you spend those hours figuring out and building something. You would know exactly when the time is right. You would have created so much value that you would understand that me spending my time on my side hustle is much more valuable and constructive than being at a day job. And you would know that. I think uh, the funny story is one of our earliest investors in AstroTask was my boss at Target. And he's like, he gave me the check, he's like, you know, take this, put in your two weeks, you don't belong here, go do your own thing, right? So you wanna make sure that you are dedicated towards the cause and you stay true to it, and then you'll see the results happen. Question over here. Hi, my name is Roman, uh, quick question. What steps did you do to get your first 20 taskers? Uh, it's been a while now, so let me think, okay. We tried a bunch of shit, to be honest, right? <laughs> Anything that would stick. And when I say that, even going door to door, you know what I mean? So basically, here's the thing. It does not really matter how we got it, right? It, it matters that we did not give up till we got that. You know what I mean? So I remember we would sit and we would just 
keep figuring out the ways in which we would get some value. So you try fast, you fail fast, and you repeat it. That's it, right? You keep changing yourself, you keep evolving, and all of a sudden you will notice that some things are sticking. And the things that start sticking that brings any positive result, you stick to it, and then you just build up on it. So it's just a matter of like trying as many things as possible to see which one works. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All done? Perfect. Thanks, guys.